I want to show you how you can create your own color palettes from any photo. So I'm on Pixabay right now and I just typed in a search for garden um, because I thought I would get some good pictures with different colors in it. Um, and so I am going to take this tulip picture because it's got some nice vivid colors in it and I'm going to download this. So ideally you want to use um, a photo that you have the rights to use and let me just pause and download okay so you want to um, use a photo that you have the rights to use so either something from the public domain or even better a photo that you took yourself so I'm using this from Pixabay uh, for the purposes of this demonstration so now let's go into affinity and I'm going to go to file and place and let's go ahead and find that picture. There it is. And we'll just place it in here. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Now I'm just going to make some little swatch dots here. So let's, most palettes have about five. So I'm just going to do this. Um, if you wanted to present this to someone with the photo and the actual swatches but we'll also make a swatch that you can use in your document as well as in other documents so let's go ahead and just with this selected with the move tool I'm going to control J to duplicate hold shift while I move it over a bit and then control J a couple more times just to create some boxes here so now I'm going to select this first one I'm going to go down here to the color picker tool and let's pick out maybe a nice dark blue and then I'm going to go to the next circle and I'm going to just pick out uh, I think maybe like an orange I like that and then we can go to move tool select the next circle color picker and let's get maybe this kind of creamy white and then move tool select color picker tool um, let's get maybe like a pale yellow something like that that's a little too bright let's get something a little paler so you can just keep clicking different areas until you get a color that you like that's that's not bad in coordination with the rest of these and let's just find one more so whoops let's undo that move tool select this guy color picker let's see what one of the greens looks like eh, not crazy about that maybe from the stem here um, I'm going to find like a lighter shade of green here. I think down here was the best. So that's not bad. I think I want to fix this kind of burnt sienna color a little bit. Find something a little bit nicer than that. Something a little peachier. And so just keep clicking around until you find something you like. And in fact, I'm going to modify a couple of these. I think this is a little too royal. I want something really quite dark. Okay. And then let's just modify this one a little bit too. Pick a few more different options of orange here. Oh, actually, that's not bad. maybe that let's do that so there's my palette taken from the photo all right so now we've got our swatches created from this photo and if this was something you were sharing on a blog or a palette site a swatch site um, you could also click on each of these colors 
and in your swatches click on this uh, color and grab the hex code from here and just type it underneath. Uh, a lot of times they have the actual color code uh, underneath it when they're sharing a document like this. But what I want to do is actually create a swatch in Affinity that we can use in our documents. Now there's two types you can create when you click on this little stacked menu when you're in your swatches window. And let's just bring this up a little bit. And so when I click on this, I can add an application palette or a document palette. A document palette is just for this document alone, while an application one is good application wide, meaning I can be in a different file in Designer and I'll be able to access this swatch. So I want to add an application palette and that gives me an unnamed palette. Now this is a little bit of a drag, but now my next step is I need to rename it. And so I'm going to call it Tulips uh, Palette. In an ideal world, you'd just be able to name it in one step. Um, so now I've got this color selected and I'm going to add the current fill to this palette. And now I can go to this color, add this one to palette, this one, add current fill to palette, add current fill to palette, add current fill to palette. And there we go. Now we have got a swatch created that we can use when we are um, working in a document. And uh, nature photos make really nice palettes because everything in nature has a tendency to have kind of a balance to it uh, in and of itself. So uh, have fun making um, palettes out of photos that you've taken or photos from the public domain.